What's up guys, super exciting video today. Been meaning to do this video for a really long time and just really happy to finally get this out there. I hope you guys enjoy it and let's get into it. All right guys, so we are doing the top 10 Mike Piazza cards from my collection, not necessarily the most valuable, but some of my favorite, and some of them do coincide with being some of my more valuable Piazza cards. But we are going to get into it, and I'm really excited to make this, guys. I hope you enjoy it. Please like and subscribe, and let's get into it. So this one is not one of them. I just have it here. But we're going to get into a couple just quick honorable mentions before we get started. Um, then I'll go through these really quick. These two here don't look like anything special. These are some of the first Mike Piazza cards that I got as a kid. Um, this one's out of 362 and these are, this is one of my favorite designs, but these are just really uh, mean a lot to me because these are the first ones I got as a kid. This one I pulled myself from a box. You only get one hit per box. So to get a Piazza PC card was really cool. Um, these are all game used. And then this last one here, I also pulled from a box myself um, this, I graded this, and but these are super cool cards, guys. If you do not know, on the back, they literally say where the bases were from. So these were literally from um, the Bonds and Piazza were from the season. And then there was the NLCS um, for McGuire. Um, but yeah, so these are just really cool uh, pieces. I tell you where they're from. And again, I pull this myself. So those are just some honorable mentions. And we're gonna get into the top 10. Number 10, a card I just got back recently. Um, pretty tough grade here. This is an SGC 9.5. I um, really like these pristine cards. And this is, they just remade the, the set. This is from 2003, but this is out of 69. And those edges to get a 9.5. Um, yeah, pretty excited. And this is a beautiful card. Uh, number nine here. This is not necessarily a valuable one, but I just these are some of my favorite cards um, in the hobby And these are um, the gold SPX is another version. That's even more rare. This is a BGS 9 the older uh, BGS label that on the back, but these are just I just love these cards. So that is number nine for me Number eight another one not necessarily super valuable um, but these are tough tough grades um, I have a bunch of these but to have a, a PSA 10 is a pop one. Uh, these are super thick cards and just out of sterling. You don't see these uh, gemming out much. So a uh, cool card for my PC and that is a PSA 10. So number seven, another card, not necessarily crazy value, but these stained glass are, they kind of made a, a renaissance in the hobby. And I really like the 1997 one in particular. It's a sharp grade for, um, for these this card specifically just because of how how the card is shaped so nice card there all right now we're getting into some of the good stuff number six we have a 1996 select certified mare red so these cards are pretty rare um there's the gold that's even more rare but these are roughly i think out of 100 they're not numbered but they are roughly out of 100 according to print runs um, PSA 9, so yeah, pretty uh, pretty excited with this one, and this is a card that's going to stay in my PC. All right, number five, these are the same card, so I have both of them in here, but this is a gold select. Um, this is the first year of select, and I have both these, PSA 9 and SGC 10. Um, the gold was out of 25, and yeah, these are really tough cards to find, and uh, I have two of them. So these are just, these are cool cars. Not a big fan of the unlicensed stuff, but I do like this set in particular. Now we're getting down to the real good stuff. Number four, one of my favorite inserts of all time. We have the Skylines, Pinnacle 1996 Skylines. Um, this is a gem in 10. I actually graded this one myself um, and got a 10. I didn't necessarily think it was a 10, but either way I was keeping it, so. Um, this card is just, I really, really think this is one of my favorite cards just in general with the design. 
um, and clear in the back. So you can even see a little edge wear right there, but got the PSA 10 and I'm uh, excited to just uh, keep it forever. All right, number three, we have this bad boy. BGS 1010 out of 20. This is 2016 Topps High Tech um, on card auto. Almost got the black label, but uh, 9.5 for surface. Yeah, just this is the only 1010 Piazza I have in my collection. And I was really excited when I uh, got this a few years ago. So um, this one is number three on the list. Let me know what your guys' favorite uh, favorite card of, of these top 10 is. Number two, one I just got back recently, but it's uh, it's a beauty. The black, Topps Chrome Black, Gemman 10, super tough cards. These are out of 199. Uh, yeah, Topps Chrome Black. I just, uh, these, this is one of my favorite sets of 2003 Topps Chrome. And the black refactors are just some of my favorites. So really excited about that. And my last card, if uh, you have been here a while, you probably know what it is already. Uh, also, my all-time favorite card I have. And this is the Dual Auto, both on card, Mike Piazza and Johnny Bench. Um, I don't have it graded, only because there is a little ding right there. It's probably come back an 8 or a 9, but I don't... I don't want to leave it. I don't want it to leave my possession, to be honest. So 14 out of 15, beautiful autos from both guys and both on card. And this is, I don't see anything topping this card for a while. Um, I'm not putting super huge money into uh, my Mike Piazza PC, but this one is, uh, this is number one. And I really hope you guys enjoyed that. I was really excited to make this video. So please like and subscribe. Let me know what your favorite Piazza card that I just showed you guys was, and I will see you guys soon.